Hey everyone, it's Ellie from Filmora here to empower your inner video creator. We recently launched Filmora 9, which has a ton of new features. If you haven't tried it out yet, we have a link in the descriptions. Download, install, and give it a spin. Now, the way you create videos for Facebook and Instagram is not necessarily the same as how you would create it for YouTube. Videos on Facebook and Instagram tend to autoplay on mute, so it's important for you to grab your viewers' attention before they scroll past. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to create videos for Instagram and Facebook so you can attract more views using Filmora 9. Alright, let's go! So the key to attracting an audience when your video is on mute is by adding text. Text allows your viewers to get an idea of what the video is about, even without audio. Let's open up Filmora 9 and start a new project. Next, take the video you want to publish on Facebook and Instagram and import it into Filmora 9. Keep in mind that you can only upload up to 60 seconds of video on Instagram. Facebook has a max length of 45 minutes, but depending on your project, it's best to keep your video under 3 minutes. Drop it into the timeline. A message may pop up letting you know that the resolution will change. Don't worry about that. Just click Don't Change because we are going to switch it in the project settings. Go up to File and at the bottom of the drop down menu, you'll find Project Settings and you'll be able to change the resolution. I'm going to go into the resolution drop down menu and select 1080 by 1080 or 1 to 1 square which is the resolution most compatible for social media videos. You will notice that there are black bars at the top and bottom of my video. This gives it an extra edge and cinematic feel. Let's try changing the colors of the black bars. All you need to do is import a background color or texture of your choice. I want the color to be white. I'll move the video to the track above and I'll place the background color on the track below. Unless your background color image is perfect 1080 by 1080, you'll need to do a bit of adjusting. You could do that by double clicking on the image in the timeline. Here, you can simply increase the size by adjusting the scale. Now let's put some text into the empty bars. I'm going to pick this one from the titles category and drag it onto the timeline. I'm going to put it on the third track, but it just so happens that the text is white, so I'm going to have to change this. Let's double click on the title tracks on the timeline. And once again, a settings menu will pop up. Here is where you can edit the text. Then, I'm going to move it into the empty bars from the preview window. Click on the line of text you want to edit in the preview window. You can tell it's the line selected when you can see the modification box around it. Then, go into the color setting and pick a color you want to use. I'm going to make it black and type something meaningful into the text box above. Let's play it back. Okay, so we see that the title text is animated. We don't want that. We want it to be static. Click on Advance and another screen will pop up. Then, in the top left corner, click on Animation and select No Animation. You can also change the animation to something else you want, but I want no animations. Oh, and if you know you'll be making a lot of videos and you don't want to do this step every time, you can save it as a preset. Feel free to play around with the fonts and add text to the bottom bar. If you're adding subtitles, simply duplicate the edited title track and adjust it where the speech changes. Then simply edit the text like we did before. One suggestion you can write is to tell your viewers to visit your YouTube channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. Once you have your text decided, it's time to export. If you're posting it to Instagram, you will have to transfer it to a smartphone. But if you're posting it to Facebook, you could do it on a desktop or a smartphone. Hope this video helps you get more engagement and followers to your social media channel. So, Instagram or Facebook, which one do you use more often? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. I'll see you guys next time. Keep creating.